Hey, how's it going guys? Mr. Boss for the win here, and in today's GTA 5 video, I'm going to be telling you guys about something insane that will be arriving in Grand Theft Auto Online over the next couple of weeks, and potentially months, from the Diamond Casino and Resort update. So Rockstar really do have some cool things coming in the drip feed more than just cars. And that has me excited. And I'm not talking about adversary modes or anything like that. I'm talking about really cool events happening. So one of these really cool events that Rockstar's got going on right now is they've put 54 playing cards scattered around the map. And if you're able to find and collect all of them, not only do you get a significant amount of chips and money and RP, but you also unlock a pretty special outfit for GTA Online. You also unlock some cool collectibles for your master penthouse and some special playing cards to use when you play blackjack and poker. Overall, it's really cool, and you also get a free item in Red Dead Online that is yet to be announced. So that's the first one that's going on. However, there are two other events that are going to occur. The third one is the one that we're interested in this video today, but the second one involves pop culture figurines. Now, unlike the 54 cards that you obtain, the figurines are exactly 100 and are located around the map. Now, if you're interested in where these are located, number one, I'll leave a link to a very helpful thread that I am reading in the description on the Chiliad Mystery subreddit by a user SNGhostX. And I'll also put this image on the screen right here that roughly shows the location of all the figurines. And you can see that they are scattered from Mount Chiliad to Grape Seed to the docks to, you know, the airport. They're all over the place. And the reward for collecting all 100 of these figurines is a handful of decorations that you can put inside of your master penthouse on the shelves and the walls and all that sort of stuff. And you also get an Impotent Rage outfit with a mask. And that is really cool, too. We've talked about that Impotent Rage outfit and mask uh, in previous videos, but it's going to be something fun to be able to dress up as. Now, you might be asking yourself, why am I telling you guys all this information? Well, once you have completed that figurine quest, you will receive a notification on the screen. And it says this. Keep an eye out for peyote plants that might have appeared across Los Santos and Blaine County. That's right. So it looks like peyote plants are going to be added into Grand Theft Auto Online. Now, in case you guys have never played either single player or you've never activated the peyote plants, essentially they work in three ways, uh, where you can be a land animal, an air animal, or a water animal. So basically what happens is you just find these plants uh, scattered throughout the world, and basically what they do is they lead to a hallucination. Now, each hallucination is a little bit different, and each animal will also lead to some different abilities. Like, for example, some animals won't actually allow you to do anything other than just run around until you decide your time to end the hallucination is up. However, some animals will be a little bit fiercer. Like, you might find yourself as a big cat or a mountain lion where you can viciously attack anything that you want. So there's a lot of different things that you can do, and they do lead to some very interesting outcomes. So those are the land animals right there. You can also be air animals like pigeons and hawks and birds where, once again, you can do another set of pretty interesting things uh, like poop on people or land on the ground and then take off again once you've landed on the ground. There's a lot of interesting things that you can ultimately do as you are these animals. Uh, it's a very interesting thing that Rockstar added to the Xbox One, PS4, and PC version of the game. And then there's the water animals, which in my opinion is by far the coolest because you can be like dolphins and sharks and stuff like that, which is just absolutely incredible. The fact that you can literally be a man-eating shark that can attack someone, in my opinion, is just so cool. Or a giant orca whale, that's just amazing as well. So those are some examples right there of the peyote transformations that happen in GTA 5 story mode. Now, if you're a fan of those, well, good news for you. The peyotes are going to work the exact same way. You go to a certain location on the map, you grab one, and you become a random animal. And the effect of that random animal or the hallucination will last until you die. Now, there are numerous locations, and you only get one peyote per location. And it appears the reward for getting all of them 
is Bigfoot himself. That's right, you're gonna be able to become Bigfoot in GTA Online. Now, if you guys are wondering when stuff like this will be available, we're not sure. As it stands right now, the playing cards are the only subject that are available, uh, or the only collectible that you can find in game. I think a lot of people are expecting the figurines to be next, with the peyote plants to be last. So if I had to take a guess, I would say it will very easily be a couple of weeks, potentially even a couple of months before these are officially added into Grand Theft Auto Online. Now, in case you guys are wondering all of the animals that you can become in Grand Theft Auto Online, here is a complete list. We're starting off with a big one, literally, and that is Bigfoot. Remember, you're gonna be able to become Bigfoot in GTA Online. After that, it's Chop, a cat, a cow, coyote, a deer, a husky, a mountain lion, a pig, a poodle, a pug, a rabbit, golden retriever, Rottweiler, West Yorkshire Terrier, chicken hawk, cormorant, crow, hen, pigeon, seagull, dolphin, fish, killer whale, hammerhead shark, tiger shark, stingray, and humpback whale. So again, a lot of variety of land animals, air-based animals, and sea-based animals. Again, the most interesting one there is by far Bigfoot. And in case you guys are wondering, in order to unlock Bigfoot, you need to eat the peyote near Chiliad with foggy weather from 3 a.m. to 8 a.m. Otherwise, you will just become a poodle. So this is very exciting and obviously has me very much looking forward to when this will be added. It will just be another fun element and mystery to Grand Theft Auto Online. And we know about this obviously because data miners are able to look at the files on PC. However, even if we didn't know that, there was definitely something suspicious about this update with all the alien references and all the mystery references. Even in this artwork right here, you can see that the two Bigfoots in the center are saying peyote party. So they almost sort of hinted at this new feature coming without us even really knowing about it. And not only is that just one example of the artwork that Rockstar decided to add in this update that allows us to customize our master penthouse, but also keep in mind, this is something that they've been doing over the last couple of updates, reaching back a handful of years now. I mean, if we remember to the gun running update, they added a brand new Easter egg for the Chiliad mystery and stuff like that, where they introduced the crashed UFO that spawned in the Zancudo Swamp. And even in the Arena War update, we saw more references to aliens being added with the atomizer guns, the Widowmaker, and the Unholy Hellbringer, and all of that. So if I had to take a guess, I would say that this is just Rockstar simply reusing some of the assets that they might have had featured for a single-player DLC, which we know one of them was supposed to feature around an alien theme. Now, I do think there is going to be one significant difference between the single-player peyotes and the multiplayer peyotes, and that is I don't believe our online characters are going to have these conversations with themselves. Like, as you've been seeing throughout this video, Franklin will uh, sort of have dialogue with himself saying, like, man, I can't believe that I'm a seagull, or I can't believe that I've just been turned into a cat or a dog. Uh, obviously, our characters are mute, so I don't expect them to somehow, now that they have been transformed into an animal, be able to speak to us or have lines of dialogue. And I expect there might be some other minute differences as well. Like in single player, even if you do some of the actions, like you can get wanted. I wonder if that will happen too. It'll be interesting to see how it functions. Again, I imagine it will be very close to single player with some pretty minute differences. Now it sort of begs the question, with all the mystery and alien content that Rockstar has been adding recently, I wonder if they plan on officially ending or solving the mystery in game. Maybe Rockstar will do that when they feel like they finally reached the end of Grand Theft Auto Online. I feel like they are not anywhere close to that with all the new content we've been getting recently. Or maybe the Rockstar employees and developers are just as much obsessed with the Storm Area 51 stuff as the rest of the internet and decided to add stuff like this into the game who really knows but anyways that's all the information that i've got for you guys in this video today hopefully you did enjoy let me know what you think this peyote plant hunt being added into grand theft auto online means do you think it's just a fun little mystery collectible for us to solve or do you think there's a bigger picture here let me know your thoughts opinions and more in the comments down below 
I'd love to hear from you guys down there. If you did go on to enjoy this video, though, a like rating would, of course, be awesome. And remember to subscribe if you guys are new or you want to stay up to date on all the latest GTA 5 casino news, videos, and more. And be sure to ring that notification bell as well. Sometimes YouTube just doesn't work, and if you ring that bell, you'll always be guaranteed to be notified when new videos arrive. But of course, as always, guys, thank you all so much for watching. Take care, and I'll see you guys in the next video.